guys, this is Mommy Loves Bags, and I'm bringing you two bags that I got from a seller that is new that I found on Instagram, and I wanted to share her with you. This is from a seller named Kiki, Q-I-Q-I. -I. I'll leave the link to her Instagram below. And so I wanted to give you an idea of um, the two bags that I received from her. I'm really, really happy with both of them. Um, there's maybe one flaw I would say on each that, you know, but it's not a deal breaker by any stretch. So let's start with the PM. This will be the third time I have had this bag. The first time I had it, I had it from Nancy and the alignment up here was not correct. So I couldn't keep it, you know, it just was bothering me too much. Some people that's not a deal breaker, but I, I don't mind some small flaws as long as the alignment is correct, glazing is good. If it's on the inside, it's not a big deal. This one has, you know, uh, it looks really great in my opinion. Um, these, this part of the bag is so soft. I love even carrying it by the handle because the handle is super duper soft. The canvas is a beautiful green undertone, okay? She's got some, I love, love these zippers. They're substantial and they are like butter. So, very nice zippers. This is, let's see if we can get you a good look at. There is the um, uh, tag on the front and you've got the little zipper here, which normally I put my earbuds and my uh, clay inside here um, and so this is a little good size wallet you've got these little I don't know what they would be called just tabs on the side looks good let's look at the bottom it's got this which I I prefer I tuck it in I like that you know it's I try to just keep it out of the way when I'm storing it um, but that looks good. The only flaw, like I said, there is one flaw with each that I, you know, if I could have it taken care of would be this handle. Um, and so what I do want to do, and I just haven't done it is hang it on a door because it just got squished. I feel like during uh, shipping and I just never did anything to try to get it to, you know, not be so the authentic is a little higher. It's like this and it will go like that. I just need to stretch it out. So really, honestly, I think that's the only flaw, which to me is just not a deal breaker. It's not a big deal because it can be corrected and most flaws can. In fact, Lunch Money and I are going to be doing a Q&A on uh, Instagram and we're gonna talk about some hacks for different things, ways you can fix bags. So um, we'll probably be doing that in a week. So come follow me on Instagram at this uh, Mommy Loves Bags. I'll put my Instagram below as I always do. Let's take a look inside. Now it is gonna be hard to look inside because it's black. It is this like black nylon-y uh, material. You do have a stamp here. Let's see if we can see it. And it just says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. And then you have this back pocket which goes pretty much the, you know, um, almost the whole length of the bag. You can see there here is top part. So it does have that as being correct. And that's all that's in there. You're not gonna be able to see inside there, but it is just like it should be, in my opinion. Um, the back has, I've already showed you these really, I love, love how soft this is. And it does have some padding here, okay? Um, it has some padding on the back that makes it really nice up against uh, your back when you're carrying it, so I love that. So like I said, I, I think this bag is beautiful. I highly recommend it from uh, Kiki. Again, I'll leave her Instagram handle down below. Let's take a look at the other bag. So this is my Chanel DeVille. This is in a um, navy. It's hard. It looks like it's black, but it's not. Jerusha Couture has this, and when I saw this on her, I loved it. It's a navy or a denim, and then it has these sparkles in it. It's like a flex sparkle in the material. Um, you can see it, see? It's really, really gorgeous. I mean, I have had a DeVille twice before this, and it was in a pink, and it was in a beige. I can't remember if I did a video on it. 
Um, but it would be, you know, you can easily go look that up. Uh, but I didn't keep them for very long. This one I've had for, I want to say a week and a half, and I love it. It's not going anywhere. I've been using it as a work bag. I love it for that purpose. It's also great for traveling. I can't wait to use it. It's got, um, it's different in that most of those are silver hardware and this is gold hardware. And you can see that even this, the material in the strap or in the gold chain has flex like sparkle, uh, gold sparkle as well. So this is a gorgeous bag. I just think it is so beautiful. I love the dark. I just have realized that the DeVille is for me. It is, I do love it because like I said, I've had two, this will be my third DeVille. Um, and I, these two bags are not going anywhere. This is my third on the PM and I had it from Anne before and that is also a great, uh, uh, bag, but I really love this one. It's not going anywhere and I really love this one now It's my third as well. Isn't that funny? The third time's a charm um, And so I think you should you know, you probably know the DeVille. Let's go inside I actually have it set up for work. So let me take my things out so I can show it to you I just wanted to show it to you with my things in because the bag does tend to be very floppy, right? That's just the way it is you can use an organizer to store it or if you want to just use it as a regular bag um, well, before I do that, let's go ahead and just look on the outside. So it has the um, 31 Rue Cambone um, on the outside of the rivets, Paris, and then underneath it says Chanel, and it says that on each of the rivets. And then you have on the older one, these are able to come out, but in this one, I like that they don't, that they have these stoppers, and it says CC. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that just gorgeous? Um, and then this is, it's a, a sewn in and it's just, I can't even tell you, this bag it feels like a denim, it's a, it's a hefty material. This is, I believe, a leather, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it, 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 it feels super nice and I carry a ton, look how much I have in my bag. Just to give you an idea, okay, I have a ton of stuff in my bag for work it's very heavy. I also usually put my MacBooks 13 inch. Uh, the 15 inch would also fit, no problem. This is the large. This is the 38 centimeters. And she has this for a great price. And so let's go inside. Oh, it, I'll show you the, the magnet inside. Excuse my dog in the background. So I've taken everything out and now you can see it's a floppy. Close the door, please. And um, inside, it's just a dark, uh, pit, but I like that, you know, I like it because it's just, I don't know. It's just such a gorgeous seamless bag. Um, so it does have only a snap closure. It's a magnetic closure here at the top. So it doesn't have any, any other way. And of course I can't do it. Um, if I had things in the bag, it would probably be a little bit easier. Let me see. Hold on. So yeah, the ma magnetic closure is easier to do when the bag has items in it. And it, there we go, it's the only way that the bag can be kept closed. Um, so it does have one zip pocket on this side that you can see. Here's the authenticity card inside. And then um, the lobster claw that I use for uh, my keys. And then on the other side, it has two pockets. One, one, two. And that's pretty much it. So I did say that there was one flaw with this bag. Oh, and there's no feet on the bottom. And it's not a major flaw, obviously, because I am in love with this bag. But this Chanel, I do wish it was a little smaller. It is, here's the end of the bag right here. This is the side of the bag. It's, it's. I have it flat lying down. So this is the edge and here is the edge. And this should not be so close to this edge. It should be a little further in. Same with the seat. It shouldn't be that close to the edge. It should be a little further in. So that would be the only thing I would say if I could change anything on the bag, it would be the way the Chanel lines up. But other than that, I love this bag. I can't believe how 
good it looks in terms of you can see those flecks of gold um, just like you're supposed to just like uh, the bag has um, in its original form so this is a gorgeous bag I highly recommend this seller Kiki I will again leave her information below I have uh, sent a lot of people to her and I have not had anybody say anything uh, that's uh, bad they have had good experiences she's easy to communicate I think her prices are you know uh, reasonable they're in the mid-range and so I highly suggest you go take a look at her so thank you so much for watching if you have any questions come follow me on Instagram it's the easiest place where I keep up the most with people answer questions DMS all the time we're gonna do a Q&A lunch and I please please give me a thumbs up I would really really appreciate it if you're not already hit that subscribe button okay I'm looking to try to get to um, 3,500 subscribers um, when I get to that even maybe 3,000 I'm going to do a giveaway and I also I'm going to do a giveaway at 5,500 subbies on uh, Instagram and we are almost um, we're inching our way to 5,000 so I don't think it's going to be that long so come follow me thanks bye